everybody. Welcome to morning prayer. Not on the patio today. <laughs> it's a little wet and rainy for that. Not on the patio today. <laughs> We're just finishing our little technical details and we'll start in just a little bit. Are we good? You like this angle better, Amanda? And I think it's uh, easier to see than everybody turning their phones or computers sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so I think we have the technical glitches ironed out. We seem to be the right direction and not upside down. So shall we? Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to morning prayer in our house. Um, just be forewarned, we still have my daughter here with her cats. So you may see a cat troop through sometime during the morning. All right. Beginning on uh, page 78 of your book of common prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. On page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, confess that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We, we have, have not, not loved you with our whole heart. We have, have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have, have mercy on us and forgive us, us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. On page 82, the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and, and kneel before, before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. <clears throat> our psalm today is Psalm 119, verses 49 through 72. You'll find it on page 767 of your Book of Common Prayer. And we'll read this responsively by whole verse. What did I say? 49 to 72, right? Yes. On page 767, Psalm 119. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me whenever I, whenever I have lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me, because I keep your commandments. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. 
I have considered my ways and turned my feet toward your decrees. I hasten and do not tarry to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I will rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love. Instruct me in your statutes. O Lord, you have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I have believed in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good, and you bring forth good. Instruct me in your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart is gross and fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than thousands in gold and silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we will get to our readings. I just realized we can see Fred over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Fred the cat. Our first reading is from the NRSV version of the Old Testament Ecclesiasticus, chapter 28, verses 14 through 26. Slander has shaken many and scattered them from nation to nation. It has destroyed strong cities and overturned the houses of the great. Slander has driven virtuous women from their homes and deprived them of the fruit of their toil. Those who pay heed to slander will not find rest, nor will they settle down in peace. The blow of a whip raises a whelp, but a blow of the tongue crushes the bones. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not as many as have fallen because of the tongue. Happy is one who is protected from it, who has not been exposed to its anger who has not borne its yoke and has not been bound by its fetters. <clears throat> For its yoke is a yoke of iron, and its fetters are fetters of bronze. Its death is an evil death, and Hades is preferable to it. It has no power over the godly. They will not be burned in its flame. Those who forsake the Lord will fall into its power. It will burn among them and will not be put out. It will be sent out against them like a lion. Like a leopard, it will mangle them. As you fence in your property with thorns, so make your door and a bolt for your mouth. As you lock up your silver and gold, so make your balances and scales for your words. Take care not to err with your tongue and fall victim, victim to one lying in wait. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And very appropriate to this time in, <laughs> yeah. in our social life. Now we're going to say together Canticle 13 on page 90 in your prayer book. Glory to you, Lord, Lord God, God of our fathers. fathers. You, you are worthy of praise. praise. Glory, Glory to you. you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths. In the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Our next reading, our first New Testament reading for today, <clears throat> excuse me, is from the book of Revelation 12, 1 through 6. A reading from Revelation. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs in the agony of giving birth. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns 
and seven diadems on his heads. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow. Interesting images. Yeah. All right. Now our next canticle is Canticle 18 on page 93. Canticle 18, A Song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be praise and worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. And our reading from the Gospels this morning is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 37 through 52, from the Gospel of Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So he went in and took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, do not the one who made the outside, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and herbs of all kinds, and neglect justice and the love of God. It is those you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love to have the seat of honor in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Woe to you! For you are like unmarked graves. The people walk over them without realizing it. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, when you say these things, you insult us too. And he said, Woe to you lawyers, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not lift a finger to ease them. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your ancestors killed. So you are witnesses and approve of the deeds of your ancestors. For they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute, so that this generation may be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, it will be charged against this generation. Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You do not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will continue on page 96, saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. See that you're already putting your um, prayer requests in the comments, so please keep doing that, and we'll get to them in a moment. And next, on page 97, we'll move forward with suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. On page 99. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline, incline our hearts to keep your law, and keep our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Should we do that one? Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now on page 823 for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on 824. 824. That's the next thing. <laughs> Times of conflict. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On, on page 833, a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And back on page 100, would you do one of the mission prayers? O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, what are we doing? Seven, 707. 707. Hymn 707, if you want to grab your hymnals and join us. get you to pick a starting note for us. Oh dear. Okay. 
<laughs> Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my heart, it is thine own, it shall be thy royal throne. Take my voice and let me sing. Thine always only for my King. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take myself and I will be ever only all for thee. Oh, that's a great way to start the that's day. That's a good one. So excuse me getting distracted in the middle of that. I don't know if you heard, but the um, one of the cats, George, decided to jump on the piano just as we started. And he played a few sour notes. So anyway, on we go. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you for being with us on this gray, rainy fall day. Be with all those who are going to vote today. Keep them safe and guard them with your Holy Spirit. Be with our country as we navigate the coming days and weeks. Um, hold all of us in your care and help us to hold each other in grace and respect. Be with our clergy as they navigate all the changes that are coming about with our services and um, music and everything else and with all of our staff. Bless each member of our congregation. And we give special thanks today for Kathleen's new employment in Maine. Um, ask your blessing as she and her sister Rachel travel with Kathleen's four cats on a three-day road trip from Texas to Maine leaving on Saturday. And I also give you thanks for my new job. And we pray especially for those who are still seeking employment, including Chris and um, Jeff and Christian. Anybody else? What do you want to add? I think that covers a lot. Okay. Good job. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Prayers today for 13-year-old Reagan, Chris Stevens' cousin, who had scoliosis surgery and found out she needs cardiac surgery as soon as possible. Mm. Prayers for their whole family. Prayers for George, who has a new diagnosis of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Um, yes, yeah, special prayers for that. It's a tough condition. Prayers for Tracy's friends, Russ and his wife, Lisa, who are both very ill with COVID, and for all the frontline workers who are helping them. Oops, what did I miss? Thank you for the parish family. Um, and thanksgiving, Lord, for our loving church family. Amen to that. Um, please know that all of these prayer requests and any others that you put in will be prayed for throughout the week. And thank you to those of you who do that as well. We appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Back on page 101. Let's continue with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, mercies we, we, your unworthy servants, servants give, give you humble thanks. thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. 
We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We hope you all have a wonderful day. And Fred says hello and goodbye from over (laughs) Jeff's shoulder. We love you guys, and we will see you in church or online. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day.